I'm Jeff Stein, CEO of Open Data Registry, and uh, we have spent the last two years reinventing the barcode system. Specifically, it's actually the protocol behind the barcode, uh, which currently is the universal product code, or UPC number. We were trying to use that to flow data through a supply chain, starting with the first example was, can we take a fair trade story in Africa and link your shirt to the individual farmer who drew that shirt? So via the barcode, you look up on your phone this whole story of an amazing farmer and how you're helping them basically by buying that shirt. So we looked at, could we use the UPC and also the protocol behind RFID, take those two technologies and do that, use those to uh, flow the data across the supply chain. And there were technical limitations. Uh, they're very good for what they were built to do, which is tracking data about things and price and things as they move logistically, like a shipping from China to the U.S., but they're not well suited for sustainability. And because sustainability is all about how something is made. And in the case of the UPC, it's based upon who makes something. That's the ID. Part of the ID is the name of the company that makes it, and the second part is what's the product ID. Well, our codes, the internet product code, or IPC, is based upon how something is made. And who is independent, you can link it, but it provides a way for anonymous identity. And that becomes very powerful because one of the biggest barriers to collaboration across the supply chain on sustainability issues is often the best data that you would want to drive decisions is tied to proprietary processes. And so companies don't want to share that. So instead, you use proxy data and models and estimates, which are better than nothing, but really to scale the green economy and drive the most incentive to improve your processes, where the biggest gains, potential gains are from your suppliers, your manufacturers, and yourself, uh, you want specific data related to processes. So because our codes are anonymous identifiers, it makes it safe to use the web to share data. So for example, let's say five tons of carbon come out of your smokestack. The number five and the unit, tons, and the fact that's carbon, totally transparent, anyone on the web. What you did to create that five tons, however, that's a black box. It has an anonymous identifier. There's no way anyone can reverse engineer what you did to create it. Now, maybe you want an auditor to come in to verify it and so forth. There's some regulator, regulations that require sharing it with the EPA or so forth. You have very uh, strong control over who gets to see the sensitive data. Mm -hmm. It's still your data. You still own the data. We're a registry. We're a registry of data, but we make it open and available to share across the supply chain. So th we have three, value point, three points to our value proposition. First is savings, which we can dramatically reduce the cost of green accounting, evaluation of compliance to standards, uh, automate uh, sustainability reporting. There's so many different standards, it becomes very costly to manage this complexity. It's not just the cost of the software, it's the cost of the staff and the time and uh, the whole process around it. We want to enable companies, sustainability departments, to spend more of their time on analyzing data and making decisions and acting on those, that data rather than just putting it in Microsoft Excel, formatting it, taking it out of Excel, and that sort of tedious, busy, non-value adding stuff. Second value point is security. I already talked about that in terms of this anonymous identifier. It's now safe to use the web. We didn't invent this flow through and this almost seemingly magical properties. This exists because of the web. It really, there's a reason it's grown to dominate our society as an influence. Uh, it has tremendous power in business as well across supply chains. So the third value point is serendipity. Because we make the web safe to share data, so make it safe to use the web, you now have opportunities to collaborate with your stakeholders all across the supply chain and discover unknown unknowns, new opportunities you didn't know were even a problem and didn't have an idea of how you could go and exploit something. And this is creating now not just saving, but real value add that could be tremendous.